good morning, good afternoon, good day, wherever we are. Um, today's a nice little update and work in progress. This is March 7th, 2021. Uh, today, as you can see, this is the main ground root vegetables bed. It's going to be carrots. It's going to be beets. It's going to be radishes and maybe some onions but i had it covered so the soil is not too bad still a little wet from a little bit of snow left so i'm gonna just fork run the fork over it and then divide up the beds plant the seed today so and then recover it and at the end with this trellis makeshift trellis that i put up it's gonna be the which is gonna go now is gonna be the king tut purple peas because they do take cold and they sprout in a lower temperature probably put like six plants and six of the seeds hopefully to get six plants and it's also later when the season gets warmer the mexican cucumbers will go in between as well so those two types of plants are going to be growing up this um by the time the cucumbers really get set, the peas will be finishing. So we should be carrots, radish, onions, beets, and that's what should be here in this bed. Over here, I'm gonna put down some more cardboard and put down the manure, soil, peat moss. This is the lettuce bed. In this bed right now, debating if I should put the Brussels sprouts or the broccoli or the cauliflower there but the bed will be made and then we make that decision later on. And that's how that's gonna go. See the cardboard right here. This is in the bed that is finished. Not now, but in a, about three more weeks, the brassicas will be coming out. Hopefully in another month, I'll get the, the post and the wire because I'm gonna have three posts over here, three posts in that bed and the wire coming up and over and down. And that on one side it will be the Chinese noodle beans growing on that side and the other side will be the Armenian watermelon, um, cucumber and the loofer coming back on the other side. I wanted to put one there but I didn't realize this space is not that big and a little shady. Plus, I want the raspberries to continue over here and this little spot that's untouched, which I'm going to move that branch that I cut down, which is going to be with a kalalu that's going to come back up. Back there is where I mostly have the okra plants against the walls. They get, even with the leaves in these trees, they're going to get more sunlight and it's against the wall. They could take a more rougher soil, even though comp about four inches of compost, manure, soil and peat moss yeah peat will be going over there this bed will hopefully be done in the end of may this is where the tomatoes are gonna go in june just along the cement area in the middle of june is where the hot peppers should be going a couple bags of hot peppers I don't have enough room so there's some others that I will be finding other spaces maybe on the path I would put one two three come down the past most likely the front part because if the trellis works it's gonna be too shaded but the front part should be did for the pots and I could walk still or walk around also I will be even though it's not almost late I'm cutting the cuts but where the tape is I don't know if you can see the tape on this tree right here there and there's a couple other spots doing a quick trim of this plant and I'll be spraying it with a fungicide to probably during the week or I may hold off because the forecast has rain next week and I don't want to spray it too early so but definitely going to clip it and trim it down a little bit hopefully this year we get something from this tree it's a nectaring tree even though I purchased it as a peach so We'll see how that goes. I'll give the tree two more years. If not, I'll start over. But trim it down and spray with the fungicide. Hopefully we could get some crops out of this one this year.
but basically that's all we're gonna do so I'm gonna jump right into the cardboard being laid down and then I'll jump into the soil in the bed then I'll jump into this bed being prepared and if I could get the camera angle right I'll show you the seating of some of the stuff alrighty here we go so so now this is the cardboard put down so now I'm gonna start putting on the soil and soil amendment peat moss and soil on um, topsoil mix um, manure and compost all purchased because I'm not making enough compost right now but hopefully as the time goes I'll have some to add on to it so it's not only purchased but that's that step and we're gonna get ready to do the next step all right this is what we got so far. I have manure down. I have the mulch around the side. Unfortunately, don't have enough to do that one, that end. And I want this a little high up and a little high up, but basically got three sides mulched, four sides if you count the middle area. But I'm gonna put more mulch down. It's given like, not even a walking path, but movable path. You know, the separation between the beds and mulch over here will separate the raspberry patch from these two beds over here and try to keep some of the raspberry runners from coming up a little bit so manure down over here is manure and this is top soil and peat moss mix I'm gonna spread it out I'm gonna do the same thing over here and then I'll put the compost on top and lay it out so that's what we're gonna do I would this bed unfortunately I did say I was gonna do it but as it looks right now, I may not have enough compost to do a top layer and or even do rows where I will seed the seeds. So this may be have to hold off for another week, maybe two, because this week is good, but next week is rainy, as to, uh, projected to rain every day, so won't do that in that time so what I will probably do is hopefully get the peas planted but the other the radishes carrots and beets and onions I'll hold off another week or two the latest and I could probably get some more compost and get that done that's the one drawback of gardening with a small budget and wanting to do so much but it will work out I just have to do piece by piece because if I can do that in two weeks I will have a little bit of fun so I can get some more compost and get that stuff going but we're still early anyway even if the carrots and stuff went in a little later we still have April and May with our cooler temperatures so it should be okay alrighty let's do it alright so this is done job we have carrot, onion, carrot, onion, carrot, radish, radish, beets, lettuce. End up planting all of them. So the cover's gonna go on. A little sprinkle, a little bit of water. It's gonna chill, but it's gonna put a little water just to wake up the seeds. And that's how we do it. Budget gardening, a lot to do. Those beds ready, just waiting. That bed, I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet, but the lettuce bed is done. And the root vegetable bed is done. So, I'm just gonna cover it and uh, <clears throat> take it from there. Sprinkle a little water on, and then we have a nice week, even with the mesh on. I'm just gonna water on top, and hopefully, it sprout. I will pull off the mush and check it out in about two weeks and see how it goes. Maybe take a peek in a week before the massive rain, or just leave it on. Yeah, I'll check in two weeks. That should be it. Two weeks, I'll do another update and I'll check. But for now, that's all we have. So with my garden hands, still a nice day. Probably around 38 degrees right now. No wind. Gonna get that done. Oh, and I forgot around that. I did plant the peas. So I'm gonna do some work in the front, which I'm not gonna record because the front is really nothing. But I'm gonna put some peas over there, take out the old roots of the sunflowers from last year, and that's all I should do. So, as he says, walk good. See you next update.